G'day guys, Bing here. So today we're going to model this uh, curved glazed railing family. Okay, so uh, um, I had a test uh, yesterday. So these are actually two different types of one. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me just, sorry, let, let me just delete all these. So this is one, so uh, two, and another one, three. So they are slightly different. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you how to create them. So let's create a new project. Okay, so this is architecture uh, template. So, so if you go to railing and create a arc finish, go to 3D view. Okay, so this is a railing and le let's change this one to a glass panel. So this is a default, um, so one of the one of the uh, railing type already in this um, architecture template. So we're going to start uh, from this and we uh, and start to change the settings and then to create something like this. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to just edit type, duplicate. I'll just call it uh, one maybe. Okay, so call it one. Uh, and then we start to, we're going to change something. So first let's remove these two rail, the skinny one. So they are rail structure non-continuous. So go here. So delete, uh, but let's use rail, you are delete as a height reference. Okay. So yeah, so that's actually, uh, it's telling you so if I cancel this one, if I and I cancel this one, go to baluster. So this is because some of this baluster is using that rail, um, rail to afford the top offset, top constraint. You can see here. Uh, this is top rail. Oh, uh, here. So rail one. So rail. I think rail one is for the panel. Right? So that's fine. So let's change this one to a uh, host. Maybe I'll just type in a number. So maybe one meter for now. Okay. So and then uh, let's um, let's okay finish it. Go back to rail, and then we can delete them. Okay. So without any warning. Okay. Apply. So oh, okay. Yeah. So there's no more. Um, railing so then the next step uh, this is a top rail so they they are here so top rail but for this one I don't think we need a top rail uh, we need we need a handrail okay so let's go back uncheck this one and if you scroll down here so we can see handrail one handrail two so we can just click on this and change it to I'll just use this pipe wall mounted um, that will be fine. And this is the profile of the, of the, the handrail. Let's just make it 40 mil. Um, what else? Um, I think, yeah, let's click OK. And also don't forget to uh, pick a position. So I'm not sure which one, just I'll, I'll just pick right. Apply, um, top reference below. Okay, so that's fine. So it's because the top yeah, we can just just yeah just uh, <laughs> click on OK and then so um, th that warning is for the baluster placement. If you go there, so you will see. So previously these uh, constraints are set to the top rail because we cancelled, uh, we delete, we deleted that top rail. So they uh, this is uh, so Revit can't. Um, create these balusters. So if um, for this one, I don't, um, hang on, let me think, do we need this? We don't need a corner because um, it will be a, you know, cur arc shape. So there's no corner, but we do need star. So actually we are going to, so let, let, me, let me explain the first method. So the first method, so I'm, going to so you can see these panels they are um, of course in re reality it, it, it can't be uh, continuous it will always break you know like uh, at some distance some width but for the first um, the first um, method I'm going to use is 
I'll try to create this as one continuous uh, curved. Um, I think we're go I'm going to use rail. So I'm going to use something like rail structure to create this panel. And then I'm going to use vertical baluster to very skinny <laughs> to separate them. So um, yeah, it looks like just make it look look right. Okay, so um, okay, so let me. Okay, so the next steps is I'm going to remove these panels. So which is here. So here panel placed. So I'm going to click on this and delete. Okay, so now we only have those uh, baluster. So regular baluster here. So. Um, we need to do some setting for the distance. I'm I'm not very sure. I'll just type in one meter here, and for the base and the top. So see, currently it's host and host. So I'm going to just try to um, maybe place one point one meter. Okay, okay. So now you can see all these are one point one meter high, and all these are handrail. So what we need uh, is just a, a continuous um, glass panel. So to create this one, we need a profile first. So let's create a new family. So we're going to use um, profile. I think I'm going to use profile rail. Okay, so let's do this. And then for this one, uh, draw a line. Uh, I'm going to make it like roughly 10 mil thick. So I'm just going to 5 mil, 10 mil, go up. And uh, hell, how about the height? Um, no, it's, this is not right. Where's the. Oh, this is floor plan. So, oh, railing, cent rail center line, rail top. So there's no height. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, sorry, I just uh, I was a little bit conf confused. Um, let's just add a reference plan RP at the dimension, and then we'll create a height parameter. Let's call, call height. Use type uh, parameter. Okay, and then just align this to the top lock, and then I'm going to copy this one 10 mil, uh, and. I think that's it. So there's, there's another line here, I'll delete it. And then this is a profile. So I'm not going to make any thickness a parameter for this exercise. Uh, oops, uh, just delete it. We don't need this text. Oh, we can't delete. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, interesting. Anyway, so this is a profile. So maybe I'll just make this uh, one one and that's it. Okay, so load this one into the um, project, and oh hell, uh, no, no, we don't need to save. So go to 3D view, uh, select this railing edit type. So plus the place or oh, railing structure. So click on add, edit. Sorry, insert, and here profiles. Let's select that family one. I'll give it a material glass. Okay, so height and offset um, all zero. Click OK, apply. And that's it. Okay, so now we ha looks like we have some issue with the where where are the balusters? <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't know. Let's try to figure out. Okay, so edit type. Have a look here. So um, yeah. I do not know. So let me have a test. Um, maybe it's because um, because of the bay, the host. Which uh, let's just draw a floor. I'll just draw a floor. Okay. So and then select this railing and pick new. So see, there, there's something here. So show if I click on this show rel related warnings. It tell us that. Um, Top reference is below bottom reference for one or more baluster for some reason. <laughs> okay, so but if if we click click on this pick new host and pick this floor, it will bring all these baluster back. Okay, so 
Yeah, so I think, I, I, yeah, it took, took me a while to figure this out. So when there's no um, host, it's not placed down to any like floor or, you know, um, maybe stairs, it won't work. And then, so once we place onto a floor, it works. So now, see these, we need to uh, do some setting because we don't want, we want this one to start from maybe this end. Oh, how do we need that? We probably don't need this. Okay, so we start with the panel. So let's go edit type, go to ballast placement. Um, we we need to remove this, Ch change it to now and now. And also for this one, so we're going to use um, spread pattern to fit. So which means all this it will be equal space spaced. And then the next step is, um, uh, let me think. So so see here so we're going to, we, we're using these um, baluster to uh, pretend there's just a gap uh, between these panels so we need to change the profile so currently this uh, these balusters are still flat okay so that's fine so we just need to go to family on the family on the railing on the railing uh, we can find that steel flat here so this one so let's create duplicate a new type or just type in 10 by 10 okay and double click on this so so this one you can change the um, material so i'll just leave it as it is and then change this one to 10 10 and a 10 okay so and then click ok and go to this railing family edit type go to baluster placement change this one to that new type click OK and OK so now it looks like a gap okay right and then that's it okay and also uh, let me just quickly edit boundary to add a circle here and then I'll select this one CS create similar pick line pick this finish so now we have uh, so let me I can delete this one so now see this uh, maybe uh, we need to pick new host yeah, that's it. And also for these, so this handrails, uh, it's there's already this, um, what do we call this, support. And um, sometimes it's a little bit harder to make it, you know, uh, perfectly uh, fit on this panel, but you can always tab, use, move your cursor onto them, tab, or, you know, tab, select, unpin, and then you can move it, move it on this along this um, railing right and do it again you can move it and if you ping this back it will go back to the original location just like um, uh, like curtain 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 mullions or curtain panels so okay so this is the first method and also uh, let me try if I um, I'll see if I can lower lower this one to the bottom of the floor so maybe i'll change this one to 301 and i'll see if i can um lower the so look to lower the baluster you can just type in here so negative 300 for example okay for the panel um i think uh i think this will lower the whole thing yeah so this will lower the whole thing um yes yeah, so i think maybe we can lower the whole thing and then also and then we just go to the um profile go to profile i right click edit just uh drag the whole thing oh actually we have this parameter so we don't need to go back to the family we can just go into here on the double click on this and then we just add 300 to it and then that's it so if i change it to shade sd so you can see that's it so this is the first method and also um this some uh these uh fixing uh thing um i don't i, I think it's easier it's actually easier to just model them as some kind of 
or hang on, there should be a gap between this, between the panel with the floor. So we, you can use offset from path, uh, for example, our topping 50. So then that's a gap between glass and floor. Okay, so next I'll quickly, so for those uh, f uh, fixing uh, thing, <laughs> can go to family and create we can just create some face based thing okay so like extrusion um, imagine that's the face of the glazing we just create some create something um, like this okay so let's go to maybe 3d view so you can see this is a base okay so finish it it'll go up that way so maybe we don't need that much um, not sure about the thickness need to be but it need to go down the other side so it will go into the floor right so um i think uh, i'll just give it negative uh, 50. okay so you can always you can also create parameters if you wanted to but uh, yeah and also this is the material so let's load this one into that project Okay, so now go to 3D view. You can just directly use place on face and then place it onto onto the glass. Okay, so and then something like that, and then uh, you just manually place them, um, or you can use you can go to floor plan and, and ray if you want to make them perfect. Um, just yeah, sit perfectly, and also you can just copy them down and then. That's it. Okay, so um, let's go back to the file I did yesterday. I, um, so this this is the first method. So the one with continuous um, panel, and then just uh, create a little baluster to to pretend the 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 gap, gap between those panels. And this is another method. So this one, you can see they are actual uh, curved panel with a gap between them. But um, since this method is slightly um, more complicated, so I'm going to show you tomorrow. Okay, so let's... Um, so yeah, that's that's it for today. I will upload this family for you so you can have a have a look and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.